London under fire when the Luftwaffe rained death and destruction from the sky, and its citizens at this year's Lord Mayor's show had their chance to offer their thanks for civil defence for central peace. No less a part in London's protection was played by the Agag Gunner, a role now taken over by the Territorial Army with its new and up-to-date equipment. <laughs> wardens, the heavy rescue squads, in fact all who place the safety of civilians before their own personal welfare. Old memories are revived as the procession passes the blitzed area around St. Paul's, recalling the great city fires of 1940 and 41. A place is found for the auxiliary fire service, the heroic brigade who fought the flames until they dropped from sheer exhaustion. And, of course, the police are there, from the old Bow Street runners to the modern Bobby, who played his part so well in wartime. Celebrities still say, aren't they wonderful? The band of the Women's Royal Air Force represented the women's services. of London in wartime, a tableau depicting the gallant few who did so much. Malta, the courageous George Cross Island, suffered as well as Britain from the bomber's might, and offers its contribution to the show with the theme, Carnival in Malta, bringing the gaiety of Mediterranean skies to a drab November day in the city of London. Ring out as the new Lord Mayor, Alderman Lowton, the youngest of four centuries, is acclaimed by London. So, tableau after tableau hammers home the need for recruits for all the civil defence services. Peace has indeed been dearly bought in two world wars. Let us work to keep that peace now, and in so doing, we shall remember them.